Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are going to show you how hollow blocks are constructed in a small scale production. Now what you are looking at here is the basic ingredients for your hollow block. Now you see this is how it goes. Now they are going to carefully measure the number of wheelbarrows because this is it's the easiest way to do it you know is to decide how many wheelbarrows and how many bags of cement that way you can have an exact count and the, the formula can be very precisely measured now this is the vibrating block this is a three three dropper as you can see and um and these are the guys doing the work over here so as you can see so so let me see now this is what this two different kind of material this yeah, are yeah, the same two different type of material. Mm -hmm. so this one is what um stone, stone does, uh, are two same type of stone but um two of them come from different places okay and this different one kind. oh so so but you, you just mix all of this yeah, up together the as, yeah. a, as the same and then now this is how, how many how many uh 17 um seven bags of cement to um 17 bar of mall. so seven bags of cement to 17 barrels of mall. Yeah. now i'm going to have to calculate that to see exactly how that formula yeah, works yeah. out but as you can see this is hard work <laughs> this is not it's not as easy as it looks these guys are strong as lions <laughs> uh, yeah man and all right so this is the this is the vibrating mold right here as you can see yeah this is a tree dropper machine and and here is your cement over here so they are going to go through and when this is done and look here now how, how many how many how much water you put in it one three drum of water and that is that that when just for this alone or is, Oh, alright, so this mixture here is going to take one drum of So 745 blocks every day yeah. For a small production like this, this is really really good production guys So, this is what you have here And, and this is the small motor that runs the whole thing as you can see now, let me go over here and give you an idea of what the blocks look like. Now, and these are what? Six inch blocks. Six inch. So these are six inch blocks. These are your basic building blocks that they use in Jamaica to build houses. And, and listen to this. Hear that? That is what your block is supposed to sound like when you hit it. Let, wait, let me get a stone and hit it again and lay here. That is how the block is supposed to sound. Now, this block here is extremely strong. As you can see, got two holes in it. It's 16, it's 16 inches from here to here. Well, really and truly, it's 15 and 7 eighths. So, 15 and 7 eighths from here. So, they call it a 16 inch block. From here to here. Let me just pick this up and put it. Right. So, from here to here is 8 inches from here to here is 6 inches and from again from here to here is really 16 inches or 15 and 7 eighths now all these dimensions are generally less less um, uh, an 8 or 2 eight or 3 eighths or something like that along those lines because of course there's mortar that is going to be set in here that is going to put the blocks together and therefore you don't want the blocks to be the exact dimension or your calculations are always going to be off now as you can see as I said this is the basic construction of the blocks solid absolutely solid blocks and of course these are vibrated blocks so they get down to be quite solid now we're going to hang on a little bit and let you see how the guys do this because this is production over from yesterday and see, this is really 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 hard work 
small scale production like this, these guys can crank out as I said 700 and something blocks each day and they, they don't get tired apparently <laughs> so yeah okay so let me tell you a little bit about how this um, this block machine works now what is going to happen is uh, is they are going to mix the stuff here the stuff is going to then be placed here this this section they will then run the uh, material over into that section right there this thing will then come down into here and it will then press down on those things so it will compress the uh, concrete cement mixture the concrete mixture into these sections right here then this machine here and if you look here there's a vibrator somewhere down here yeah, right and then here is your motor right here so this here there will be a belt yeah. that goes over right here and as you start it the whole thing will vibrate yeah. this section here will compress this down here and um this is the ram and this is the mold right uh, and those are the pallets and those are the pallets those so, underneath like right it goes up like that here here is a demonstration yeah. of how it works bam 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 the pallet go underneath and you, you connect your gas and your belt line and start it up and you compress your machine and, and then you, both sides are dry. And then this thing will then run along these rails right here. Yeah. And you then take off your blocks, which will be put on this yeah. pallet right here. And, they down out there in the sun, and, and, dry. and then they will cure. Yeah. So that is the basic way that this is yeah. done. So why are you name boss? This is this is Mr. McIntosh. <laughs> Mr. McIntosh. Yeah, you're white. So white. Nice. Nice. nice white Macintosh and night yeah. there we go so look here now this is how is black construction yeah, so know. if you guys really and truly want some really really good Hard well you know? right you're going contact Howie and I'm going to put his contact in the in the um, comments below so you all know exactly where but this right here by the way is a little district called Green Mount yeah. all right so beautiful place by the way that's where I come from yeah. all right so um, people around us are hard working. We're not, we're not taking a check with the work thing. All right. So, so the man, all right, watch it now. You see how they mix this up right here? I'm going to show you how it's mixed. Spread right. the motor, hold the right. motor on. Add, add the cement to the whole spread motor. Yeah. Right. Make sure we leave the motor. Yeah. We spread the motor, add a little water. All right. He's gonna grab us by the cement up there. So essentially what they are doing, because these are two different types of material, they are essentially mixing them together. And And as you can see, this is not work for people who don't eat. This is hard, really hard work. These guys don't get tired. <laughs> These guys finish, they go home in the evening, they get a bath and they yeah. find, find a decent session. Fresh and cool, huh? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> And look here, I won't tell you any line, this is Jamaica, you know, so this is the land of the spliff, so you don't know how the thing set. <laughs> right, sir? Yes, yes man. man. <laughs> Alright, so now that it is leveled out, uh, add a little water. Oh, you're going to add the water add first. Add some water to it. Oh, okay. And then you. Soap, so five and then add the cement to and it. Then we add one cement and oh. start mixing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just, yeah. just saying my piece. I'm gonna show you when I'm done. Oh, my piece. Uh -huh. yeah, so one bucket at a time. Yeah, one bucket. Oh, you, you, you need a hose, man. Ah, we need a hose. We need to put it up and lift it out 
Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, that, 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 would be, that would make it so much easier. Yes, sir. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That is bucket number two. Five minutes then you add some cement to it and turn it over. Alright. Okay. So the whole thing is now wet and uh, they're just going to wait until the water is soaked down into it. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. That's how it looks when, it, when it's soaking. Alright. So now we're just going to wait and, and put some more um, some cement on top of this now. So you're just going to put the cement on top of that now? Yeah, when it's warm. Oh, I see. <laughs> so while this is going on, guys, and this possible, let me just show you the basic construction of this machine here. So you can see right here, just run right the whole um, rama just run on this thing right here. Here is your half whatever you call this here that brings it up yeah man this one this one can show the whole um the whole mold system down there right. put the pallet underneath and this can show the whole mold underneath oh. and then this one, this one now can show the rama this can show the rama right here don't tell me you break it like this they put that compress take it so it, All right, friends, lift this right here. And that and, and, and that drop out the drop the black out of it. And new pallet again on put another you, so you put another pallet on the right there. Yes, yeah. And then you drop that down. Yeah. And then put the, the stuff on top of it. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Alright. That's 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 most most like the basic of it. I got it. Yeah. To show the belt line like right here. Uh, yeah. We're gonna start we click this switch right here. Oh. Uh, Current switch fully 220 current. Right? Yeah. Get you running first. So, so essentially that's the clutch, right? That's the clutch and gas.
that, ladies and gentlemen, is yeah, how it's yeah. done. That's just the basic of it. Without the stuff in the machine. Oh, okay. Yeah. add some cement now and see if we can get it in some. So now they are going to add the cement. Now that the water has soaked into the whole thing, yeah. they give it about five minutes or so, then they are going to add the cement to it. So as you can see, they clearly added seven bags of cement to this. And uh, now the hard work, the really hard work begins. This is where you are going to have to do this entire thing by hand, mix the entire thing by hand. And then what's the next step now? Start turning it over? Yeah, so, so you have to wait a little bit or, or what? Are you oh, okay. So now guys, they got the whole thing spread out. We're gonna take a two minute break. You know how it goes. Get a little bit of organic refreshment. <laughs> And then they're gonna do this whole thing now. Then the second part of the hard work begins. So guys, I'm just looking at these broken blocks over here and it crossed my mind. I wondered what they did with them because I mean, they're already made. So they sell these at half price. Um, now let's think about this for a second. If you are building a house out of a hollow block, um, about 10-15% of your blocks are you are going to have to cut them at some point so it makes sense for you to actually buy these blocks at half price and um, and buy your regular blocks at the normal price because you are going to have to end up cutting many of them anyway so just a suggestion guys 
when you're doing this you have to you know put on your thinking cap and do it the right way anyhow we're just sitting here waiting for the stuff to you know mellow out and all of that before they get right into the actual um, production of the blocks and I just looked over and saw that and thought I would just interject that in here as we just hang off and wait so here you are and if you look at them they are they may be a little bit broken but they every single one of them has at least one pocket and most of them are are you know probably just split a little bit and whatnot and whatnot as you can see it's still good blocks so yeah so guys now the hard work begins now they have to turn this over you gonna put any more um any more water in it oh i see what you mean so now guys they are turning it over and mixing the cement with the um the other material which is essentially crushed stone and um and limestone mixed together So it's going to be moist, but it won't actually be very wet, right? Usually it's four of us, you know? Mm. Usually it's four of us, but it's, it's, it's going to be three of us today, you know? Uh, okay. So. Oh, okay. So as they go along, guys, you see this? Just sprinkle a little bit of water over it. Now, the idea is that you won't be mixing. Yeah, you have to keep it moist, but you won't be wetting it as if you were making um, a concrete batch to say. Okay. And the, the blocks won't stay together when you make them. Just barely moist and then the machine will do the rest.
Sí, van que has. I let's see that that's what I do on every hill, you know. Yeah. Pushing my clutch and just run free, you know. Yeah man. Gas <laughs> is expensive these days, man. So what are you gonna do? Half a batch first or are you gonna do the whole thing? Huh? You're gonna do just half of this first or are you gonna do the whole thing? Oh okay. And then remove it right the machine. Mm -hmm. And then yes, lots of work. If you had like well, a line nothing to us sometimes, you know? <laughs> yeah, you know. So you are young like you guys know. Yeah. When, when I was your age, you know. <laughs> No problem to me, but look here now. If, if you had, if you had a mixer, a mechanical mixer. Oh God, now we've got a thousand, <laughs> one thousand, five thousand. Yeah. Yeah. moment guys as you can see it's not completely mixed yet but as it get it in the sun a little bit as well. so, yeah, and right and this is what it looks like at the moment so you can see it's barely together i mean it is fairly moist though see, yeah. see my, my hands right here but then after that we are going to just mix this whole thing together Remix it again.
what he's doing now is doing what's called the final mix before it goes into the vibrating machine. So now that is completely mixed right here. This that is over here is completely done. And that is done now. He's just gonna run it right into the machine. So, so guys, so this stuff here now. This is the final yeah. product before it goes into the vibrating machine, as you can see. That's about what it looks like. So, the machine goes together. goes into the tray right there That, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you guys, that's what we do. So ah. when, we, when we mix it like this and put it one, on one place, we make it like breeze out for five minutes. Oh. Then we put it in the machine. But two, you want to see right. the first one. So I'll just put this one in the wet. So this, guy, this one is kind of wet, you know? All of them do, doesn't process like this. But it's just, as, then, just as good. Yes, man. It's, on a, it's, it's, a, it's, it's okay. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just saying my piece. And this is Howie's lock manufacturing business. And this yeah. is located in Greenmount. And these are the gentlemen who do your work. Hard working people. All right. And this is the material that goes into it. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the videos. And as usual, you all have a great day.